how's your experience been so far? Yeah, it's been fun. I mean, obviously the talent's, the talent's unreal here, and, you know, it's the best of the best, so uh, it's a lot of fun, and, you know, I'm looking forward to the game tomorrow. You're representing the Brandon Wheat Kings here. You know, what does it mean to you to wear that crest, and, and what has the organization done to help your development? Yeah, the city's amazing. Um, it's the only place I've ever played and the only place I want to play. Uh, it's a great city. You know, everybody loves hockey there, and it's, you know, fun to represent it. Yeah, like you mentioned, like it's just unbelievable. There's, I mean, a generational talent in Connor Bedard, and um, you've seen the things he's done out there, and even today on me. So, um, yeah, it's it's a stacked class, and you know, I'm I'm really fortunate to be a part of it. What's it like to be part of it, and knowing that, yeah, we probably know who number one is, but. After that, it's like anyone's yeah, it's fun. It's exciting. That's you know that's why we play. We're, we've always been looking forward to this moment, and um, you know I've been just kind of soaking it all in here. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. As a goalie, how daunting is it to look at that, uh, that gauntlet today and see yeah. you're up against Aruna? Yeah, it's it's intimidating. Uh, he had a couple shots on me, and he got some by me, and um, I stopped some of his. So it's kind of you know it's it's a gamble. It's fun to play against them. I play against them in the in the Western League, so. Um, yeah, it's just, it's always a challenge every game. Is there anything in particular that you have to do to, to stop a guy like him? Is there any different way to, to work? Yeah, just kind of just kind of watch a shot. You know, you've obviously seen it develop since he was 14, and he, and even younger than that, he's, he's always had an unbelievable shot. So um, I think just, you know, lots of video on him, you know, seeing his tendencies and stuff like that, and, you know, just trying to point him out. What, what's been the biggest bit of growth in your game? Like, what have you noticed that you've really improved this year that has kind of taken your game yeah, size has definitely helped. I've put on a little bit of height. Um, working with my speed too, just kind of getting used to my body, getting my hand eye, you know, kind of dialed in and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm just working with my speed, trying to get faster, you know, trying to be ahead of the play and everything like that. Yeah, it's a big year for the dub. I mean, a lot of guys that you go up against all the time and you're the top goalie. I mean, what's it like for you to kind of be one of those torchbearers for the WHL right now? Yeah, it's fun. I have Scott Ratzlaff kind of beside me too. Um, he was. He was my partner in the Holinka Cup this summer, and you know he's somebody I kind of kind of look up to and take after from that. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun just kind of focusing on on this game here coming up, and then you know winning games is a brand new weekend. And, and who do you? What are the goalies that you like to watch? Who are the guys that you try to, to pattern your game after? Uh, all I've kind of done is Carey Price. You know that's that's kind of all I've watched, and you know who I'm on my game after. Is there anything in particular about him that you that you try to? Yeah, just his stoicness in the net, you know, kind of the way he handles himself. He's a, he's a calm guy, so, um, you know, no ups that are too high and no downs that are too low. He's just he's pretty level-headed. Is there anything that you do sort of mentally to try to maintain that, that even feel when you're going through your season? Yeah, just kind of tell yourself to stay calm. You know, there's, you know, everything in a game will pass, you know, at some point or another. And, you know, it may seem like a long game, but it'll be over before you know it. Obviously, I'm in the Western League and, you know, taking advantage of everything I have, so, yeah. Does it become harder as the season goes on during your draft year to maintain that kind of even keelness? Yeah, it kind of wears, wears you down a little bit. I mean, it's part of the game. Everybody's going to kind of go through that, so, um, you know, just making sure I'm taking care of myself off the ice and stuff like that, it all kind of adds up.